Hi, Miss Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Bag of Day Crochet. We talk about everything that's yarn and crochet related and sometimes knit. Okay, so I don't knit, but um, I do like to look at it from time to time and talk about it. Um, if you like that type of thing, please uh, hit that subscribe button or not, not hit it, but um, it doesn't matter. Hit that subscribe button. We talk about yarn here. There's always dogs walking by in my videos and, and kids screaming. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> and then uh, at the making of the video, it's 4-11-2024. I do have like close to 1,300 crochet tutorials, all free for you to enjoy. I have anything that you could ever want to make in multiples of them. So please take advantage of those. It is becoming spring here. Well, it is spring here. I don't put quite as many tutorials on this in the spring and summer as I do uh, in the fall and the winter. Um, now fall and winter, I'll be bust tutorials out throughout the night, like non-stop, you know. Boom, 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 constantly. Every day. Um, but during the spring and summer, not people still crochet, but not as many. So I don't do as many tutorials because they don't get watched. Um, I usually maybe put one on a week during spring and summer. Something like that. I still like to talk about yarn and hang out with you guys. You know, I've always liked to do that ever since I started my channel. Well, a few years into my channel. All right. All right. So I have a lot of stuff that I have to make videos on. So I have auction blankets for the animal auction that we do. I have to show you. Um, I have some super cool stuff I got from eBay. Vintage. I can't wait to show you, but gosh dang it. One of them is stuck. It's not here yet. And it's one I really want to see. So I have to wait on that. But I have all of them right here except for one. I have some vintage hooks I want to show you. I have um, yarn from different places I want to show you. Like in the blankets I want to show you. There, I mean, everywhere in this room is totes. 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 Yes, everywhere there's totes. Yarn, yarn. Everywhere there's yarn. I am having that to my million subscriber. Um... Uh, giveaway like I said I don't do giveaways anymore I haven't done them since last year um, giveaways aren't really a part of my channel um, I give d different ways then I don't do it publicly so when I give away nobody knows it so I, I don't want to be a person that gives like that I'm not, there's nothing wrong with that but I like I prefer to do it like under the radar so but I did say if I ever hit a million subscribers that uh, I would have a blah giveaway. And since I said that, I hit a million subscribers, I'm going to have the giveaway, the little odd one. And it is on 420, um, it's a Saturday, at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. You want to be there? I got uh, lots of stuff to give away. Probably, I mean, I don't have lots, but I do have some yarn. Um... And other things, I've had some people donate things to the give for my giveaway for the my million subscriber giveaway, which is super cool. Thank you everybody that did that. Um, I also guess what shipped today my go play button, the thing I started YouTube for. Well, I didn't start. Anyways, my go play button is in the mail. I seen I got a tracking number today. It will be here before the twentieth, but I promise. I am, like I always said, I promise I I have I am a woman of my word. I do have a certain amount of integrity that I like to have bold. And if I say something, I stick to it. I will not open that gold play button. Not even peek at it. I will not even slice the tape on the box until the 20th on my live stream. And we can all open it together. It's because of you guys anyways that I got it. So I think we should share that together. And I have the silver as well um the silver i got the silver play button for a hundred thousand subscribers i think maybe a year maybe a year and two months after i was on youtube i got that i did open that but i have never hung it on my wall i said i would never hang it on my wall until i got a gold play button so on the 20th we'll hang them both how about that silver and gold up there does they don't mean anything really they don't mean anything at all. It was just after I got the silver, I said to myself, well, I'm not going to quit YouTube until I got the gold. 
because I always mention that I'm very goal oriented and I set that goal for myself. It took me 10 years to achieve that goal, 10 years to get the goal play button, but I got it. But I did in our, in our genre of yarn and crochet, 10 years is the fastest anybody ever got a gold play button. Yeah, I hold that record. I hope someone beats it because 10 years is way too long to be waiting for a gold play button. Um, but in our genre, like I said, of yarn, yarn and crochet, it's just not, uh, it, it takes a long time to, to get places. You know what I mean? Um, so that's okay. I don't have any people have asked me. I'm very sidetracked to, I do that a lot. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I have something wrong with me and my brain gets sidetracked. And I repeat myself a lot. There's nothing anybody can ever do. There's nothing no doctor can do to help me. There's no medicine they can give me to help me stop that. This is, it is the way that I am. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. I don't do it intentionally, but I do do it. And I don't know that I'm doing it until I rewatch the video. And I'm like, gosh, dang, I'm annoying. Repeating myself and getting sidetracked. And forgetting what I was talking about. Oh, anyways, I have no aspirations to um, try to get like a million, two million subscribers or anything. I don't really care about any of that. Um, I just want to do tutorials every once in a while and talk about yarn and crochet stuff with you guys for however much longer I'm on YouTube for. You know, I'm not going to be on YouTube forever. So, um, you know, I hit my goals and now YouTube is I like I just want to hang out with you guys you know like well I always did that you know um ever since I flipped my camera around after about I did tutorials for so long and then I started showing yarn you know and going yarn shopping and whatnot and talking just talking to you guys about that stuff so it's kind of like well, like what I've always done and I continue to do you know hopefully you like that type of stuff plus the tutorials like I said but don't expect tons during the spring and summer I never put that many out all right I have a yarn to show you from a, a bunch of different places but this place is from your know, inspirations your know, inspirations had an excellent excellent sale oh gosh like three weeks ago maybe over three weeks ago maybe they had uh, their clearance yarn on sale what it was is like yarns are getting rid of or colors are getting rid of and discontinuing they had it on clearance, but then they just had to send out an email that they put an extra 30% off on top of their already low prices in their clearance section, which made the yarn extremely good deals. And I did put a community tab post up of that, that deal. Everybody's like, why don't you tell us about the deals? I tell you guys about every single deal. Either I make a video of it or I put it in the community tab. Every one that I find, I always tell everybody. That's all I can do. If you don't see the video and you don't see in the community tab, I'm sorry. I can't do anything else. I can't. That's all I can do. Um, so let's look at it. Why don't we? You guys want to look at it? So they had uh, some of their Red Heart Comfort on sale. Oh, and then I got uh, some yarn that wasn't on sale, actually, too. Uh, um, but so... The Red Heart Comfort is, it's a good deal. I mean, it's, it's not a bad yarn. Um, they only, you know, like I said, they only had certain colors on sale. So I think it's like discontinued colors. So it feels like it's, to me, Red Heart Comfort is like a big ball of Red Heart Super Saver to me. There's nothing wrong with it. It's good for blankets and whatnot. Um, but this is what it is. So, you know, it's 100% acrylic four weight yarn feeling like red heart super saver it's a nice nice four weight there we go um paddle pink machine washable and dryable 100% acrylic yep 792 meters or 867 yards is what it is um so normally this stuff is um, at Yarnspiration where I bought it. Normally it's like $10 a ball, but I got it on clearance for $4.20. Um, 
not a bad price for that much yardage of 800 and some 867 yards that's even cheaper than red heart's big big balls uh at walmart and more yardage so killer deal i would say so so i got this pink petal pink they had that yeah quite a few colors of that on sale but i didn't get them all and then i got this one which is called um mm, I don't even know what the name of this one is, but it's pink. This says, uh, oh, shocking pink. Ooh. Shocking pink. A lot of this stuff I got for my million subscriber giveaway, you know. Um, and then I got this one, Melon Berry. Now, the variegated do have less yardage, 649 and still the same price okay this one wasn't on clearance i'm sorry it was on sale though for 6.99 so this one was not a clearance one but i got it on sale because they had their their regular yarn on sale most of it too so that was 6.99 um jelly bean print and jelly bean jelly bean it was on sale too Got that one. And like I mentioned, the variegated, you know, they don't have as much as much yarn. But that's okay. So pretty. I'm not a big fan of variegated anyways. Brown one here. This was on clearance for 420. You know I like the brown. I don't know about the variegated, but whatever. 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 It's very good. <laughs> I got a lot of, like I said, I got some of this for giveaways and whatnot do stuff with okay and then they had another one which wasn't on clearance but i got it anyways because it was on sale for 6.99 it's called a uh, argyle print so you can crochet it and make uh like the argyle pattern kind of like plan pulling i guess i think i'll have to look into that but it's pretty probably keep that one but I got more. I'm not going to show you every single color. No one wants to sit here for an hour and talk about that stuff. Um, and the yellow, you know. All right, enough of the, the comfort. Um, oh, and they had this on clearance, which I thought was a pretty good deal. The Red Heart uh, Roll With It Sparkle. Yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? So this is a 97 acrylic and 3% other fibers, which I'm guessing is the metallic that's running through it. Um, it's a number four weight, huh? They classify that as a four? No, come on now. Don't be doing that. Don't be saying that's a four. Let's check it out. Could be. I'm thinking it's a three. There you go. Whatever you guys think. Call that what you will. Um, again... Kind of feels like Red Heart Super Saver. Um, nothing wrong with that, though. You can, uh, what's the yardage on it? What is the yardage on this? Uh, 513 meters or 561 yards. So this one is called Pastel Paradise. I got two of each color. If I know that they came in a three pack, I just would have bought the three. That's something I wish yarn companies would do. I know of a couple yarn companies that do it, not in the United States, but well, I get uh, not many major yarn companies that do it, like small yarn companies. They'll, they'll tell you how many is in the pack. So in case you want to just buy the pack of it, you know, um, that way, if I would have known that there was three, I would have just bought the and then they wouldn't have opened it up, you know. But, um, anyways, these were $4.20 as well. I don't think that's a bad deal. I don't know what their regular price is, but that's what I got that one. Pretty. This one, roll with its sparkle, lake house. Ooh, Raggedy likes that one. Like I said, some of these I'm going to be giving away. Sorry about my dogs. 
That's what goes on here. Dogs and cats. Or dogs, cats, kids running through videos and whatnot. That's just how it is here, you know. I keep it real. It doesn't get much realer than bot. Kids screaming. Dogs barking. Running back and forth in my videos. Me losing my train of thought. Talking about weird stuff. This one's called Destiny. Very pretty. Me busting out in the songs. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Kind of has a factory smell to it. That's okay. You know what? Yarn smells like factories sometimes. You know why? Because it comes from a factory. Uh, ooh, I like this one. If I keep any of these, this would probably be the one I keep. Ooh, I wish I would have got three of these. Um, cactus flower. Oh, I like that one. I think that would make something very pretty. That's my favorite. That is, if I keep any, that would be the one I keep. Um, I think. Oh, this one's pretty too. They're also pretty. Um. They're also dang pretty. Gray Whisper. Hey, I'm going to whisper in your ear that this yarn is gray, but it's more pink and purple than anything. And they don't even match up at all. Just the same. I guess they do. I guess they do. They're good. They're good. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. All right, I got one more of those. Ooh, this one's pretty too. They're also, oh, I dropped one. They're also pretty. They're so pretty. This one. Ooh, these are the same. They're just rolled different ways. Um, I like this one too. Sedona. Dang, I don't know which one. I can only keep one. Which one do you guys like out of these two the best? They're the same. They kind of look, or these two are the same. I guess these kind of look a little similar. Not really. Oh, I like this one. Anyways, yeah, got those for fun and whatnot. Um, and then they had this on clarets. Um, this is their. Uh, where you at? Burnout wavelength. All right, I've had this before. I gave it away a long time ago, but I thought I'd get it again. Um, I paid, oh my gosh, three something for it, a ball, I think. Yes, that's nice. It doesn't, it just shows you like total amount because I got four of them, so. Um, that's nice, I like that, what a good deal. This reminds me, okay, so they classify it as a bulky five. There you go. Chunky weight or a bulky five. Call that what you want, but there it is. Um, and it is 100% acrylic, machine washable, dryable, 223 yards, 204 meters. Uh, the way it looks kind of reminds me of Premier Puzzle. You know, there's tons of yarns like this. But I love this green. I think the green is really pretty. I don't know why, but... Yeah, I think it'll play out really well whenever, if I use it. I don't know if I will or not, but I might. Hard telling. Um, okay, then they had uh, their Biddy Stripes. Yes, the Red Heart Biddy that I looked everywhere for. Wasn't going to be available, available till June. They had it. Not on clearance, of course. And they didn't even have it on sale. Their new yarns were not on sale, so I had to pay full price for it. And... They only had one color. Well, I ordered all the colors, but they only had, they ran out of all of them, but one that they could send me. So I got the one color that they had left. I mean, they had the colors when I was, they got them again, you know, of course. If you go to their site, they, they have them. But um, at the time, I ordered them and they had to, they, they didn't get them all to me. But this one's called Newsprint. I had to pay $10 a ball for this. It wasn't on sale. One, 
It wasn't in their clearance because it's new and it wasn't even on sale because it was new. But I like the bitty stripes. I made a hat. Um, let's see if I can find it. I can't find it. You know what? I just had that hat too. Oh well. Um, it was made on the knitting machine anyways. It turned out really pretty. I don't know. what I'll, I only got three of these. I don't know what I'll do with them. But the... Uh, probably give them away. Probably give them away. Um, that's what I do. With most of, the, most of the stuff. It's a medium weight number four. I'm feeling like Red Heart Super Saver. Because it is part of their Super Saver line. It's called Bitty Stripes. It's their newest one. Um, and... They have, uh, if you go there now, they got like this color here. Uh, I wanted it really bad, but they have it now. Um, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Um, I won't be giving that one away, but uh, 515 yards or 471 meters, 10 ounce ball, huh? Of a four weight. So yeah, if you felt uh, Red Heart Super Saver, this is what it feels like. What it, It's kind of a got a wash look to it with... Itty bitty stripes. They should have called it itty bitty stripes. Yeah? Yeah. But anyways, this is 10 bucks on their website. I think that's the only place. It's available at some Walmarts in Canada. And some people said they've seen it at some Walmarts in the U.S. I don't know about that. My Walmart don't have nothing, hardly. So, and I know they would never get this. <laughs> you know, I don't know. But yes, got that. Got, I... Like I said, I ordered all the colors they had, and then the only one that they had, they canceled. You know, I got this one. I got this one, but I like it. It's still very pretty. Um, yes. And then I got this. This wasn't on sale either, but it's a new color. I wanted it really bad. And this one I'm gonna keep because I want. I have. I had a project. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, um, yeah, I'm going to get that because, you know, even though it's not on sale, it's a new color and I like the yarn a lot. So this is the Caron Colorama Halo. You guys don't, if you guys don't know anything about that, I highly recommend it. I have a lot of stuff already. I mean, it's relatively new. I don't know. It came out last year sometime. I have a lot of stuff on my channel made out of this already because I like it so much. Um, this one is a gradient, like gradient. They have some that are like so, like they'll start yellow and go to light or light yellow and go to dark. I can't remember, but it's so nice. Um, but it's fuzzy. The fuzzy is not itchy. It's like super soft. It's a, I know some people will think maybe it feels like a Caron Latte cake. Now, it doesn't feel like a latte cake. Latte cakes are like silky soft. This one is more of a, it's a soft soft. It's not like silky feeling, but it's still really soft. I highly recommend these. Well, this was a new color I seen and I love it. It's called silver and gold. I had to get it. Um, and I got enough of them. Like I said, uh, it wasn't on sale, <laughs> um, but I got enough of them to make something bigger with. I'm super excited. I really like this yarn. Check out my other tutorials. I'm, I think I have a blanket and a poncho and a shawl. And, um, oh, I know I have more stuff. Scarves, maybe, I don't know. I have quite a bit of stuff that I've used this on. I like it. Did I say that yet? I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay. It's a bulky five is what they classify it as. You know, their yarn weights, they just keep getting thinner and thinner. I would never classify that as a bulky five. To me, that is a four-way yarn. But if you take in the fuzz, I guess it's a four, five weight. I still wouldn't call it a bulky five, but hey, their weights are getting thinner and thinner as we go. Their fives, are, to me, are rarely fives anymore. And their fours are rarely fours. That could just be me and my thinking, like, thinking that. And it's not true, but that's what I see. And, uh, let's see. It says it's machine washable and dryable. I don't know about that. I probably wouldn't recommend that. I have a review on this yarn. I think I might have did a wash and dry sample on it. I can't remember. 
You might want to look that up. I can't remember. I think maybe the if I did that, the fuzzies. I don't know what happened. Maybe nothing. My guys, I got a bad memory. So, 71 acrylic, 18 nylon, and 11 polyester, 8 ounces. Uh, 440 meters or 481 yards. I just love this silver and gold color. Although it's just like yellow and gray. It's still very pretty. So I got that. Wasn't on clearance. But I did get it. Um, is that it? No. It's almost it. You're like, finally. Talk forever. I don't mean to. That's all. I mean, is that it for the, uh, your inspiration yarn haul? Almost. Um... I got this yarn Ugh. over here in this one. Now, this yarn, I got one ball of every color because I think they're getting rid of all of it. This is the uh, Fintex brand. Um, um, their worsted uh, weight acrylic yarn. I don't know why they're going to get rid of it. That's not kind of. But anyways, I paid $5.25 for this. $5.25 for this. And how does it feel? Red Heart Super Saver. It's a value acrylic. That's what it feels like. But there ain't nothing wrong with the value acrylic. Their really, value acrylics are really good for blankets. Because um, you can throw them in a washer and dryer and they soften up. And you can wash them in dryer over and over and over again. And like, well not all value acrylics are equal. I can tell you that that much right now. I say Red Heart Super Saver is like the workhorse of them all. But yes, this feels like Red Heart Super Saver. Doesn't smell like a factory. So, this is the Fintex yarn. That's my dot puppy back there. Um, that's a sheep -a doodle Her name is, I have two of them. That's, that's Edith. We call her Edie. Edie, what are you doing? What are you doing, baby girl? You gonna sit down, lay down? Dead mommy's baby. I love you. You're such a pretty girl. Yes. You're such a pretty girl. She loves to be pampered. Like, she loves it when, like, I clean her toenails and clip them. She'll just be like this. Let me do it. The other, my other sheep -a doodle is her sister. And her name's Francine. She does not like it to be pampered. She don't like to be brushed and or anything at all she gets really mad but anyways back to the yarn sorry about that um fintex worsted 100 percent acrylic medium weight number four all right i know since they had it they have it in clearance that's an average four weight yeah yeah i think so 400 grams 14 ounces 817 meters or 894 yards so i thought you know i know since it's in their clearance section all their colors were in their clearance section that they were getting rid of it i wish that i would have bought more because it was only 525 at the time i bought it because they had that extra 30 percent off their clearance and what a deal that is for 800 and almost 900 894 900 yards of a full weight acrylic for 525 and you know, I think they had 13, 14. I'm not going to go. Surely you don't want to see all the colors of it. How boring that would be to sit there and look at all the colors. I'll show you a couple of them. Let me move that toad out of the way. Oh my gosh. Ugh. So many videos I have to do. So much yarn I'm getting rid of on the 20th. <laughs> on my live stream. It's going to be fun. But I can't be there all night. I can't live stream for hours. But. So, they had this pretty orange. Like I said, it's just kind of a basic acrylic, you know, like Red Heart Super Saver. But there's nothing wrong with that. I use Red Heart Super Saver all the time. Um, great for blankets, this stuff. Such a shame. I wish they wouldn't give it. I wish I would have bought more. If I would have had thought about it, you know, like, hey, I guess at the time I wasn't thinking this is never going to be available again. Because I know that's why they're getting rid of it. It was saying discontinued colors and yarn and whatnot. That's why they, that's why they had that sale. Um, I would have bought more. Dang it. But anyways. Tangerine. Excellent color. I've had this yarn before. Uh, one other time. 
I got it just to try it out when it you know it wasn't on sale or not. It was just like I'm like, what's that? That's cool. I mean, I know the Fintex brand is known for that like nylon like real slipper sock stuff, that weird stuff. But I didn't know they made regular yarn either. Well, I knew. I know that. I mean, that was several years ago. I seen this for the first time. And I got this yellow's pretty, isn't it? Um, I can't even read the names. I don't even see the name. Who cares about the name, right? Who cares about the name? This one has a name. This one doesn't. It's okay. So yellow and orange, very pretty. Since I only got one ball of each, maybe I could put them together and make uh, some type of blanket or give them away or something like that. Um, light green. That's doesn't look green to me. It actually looks blue. How about you guys? I got a new light. Can you guys tell? Do my videos look any different? It actually makes... I was noticing that the yarn that I was showing... Some of it was, especially the blues and purples, weren't showing up extremely true to color. And I would tell you in the video if that was the case. Um, so I tried to fix, got a new light and tried to fix my light. I have some new curtains back there to let some more light through. And they're not really the greatest, you know, they're kind of, the pink doesn't really match. But it lets more of that light through. And um, then I have uh, got uh, different lights over here. And actually now it's showing up true to color. So I'm happy about it. I don't know if he actually one person did notice. They said, "Did you get a new camera? Your video looks good," which made me feel pretty good. But but if you don't notice, that's okay. But just know that the yarn is actually true to color now. Before I would tell you when it wasn't. Some of them were showing up not true to color. And some of them wasn't. I tried adjusting all my camera settings, and I realized, hey, it's the lights. I'm gonna try to adjust my lights. So I did. I kind of have um, some different ones over here reflecting at a different angle. And then I let that room show out some bright light. And I think that helps out a lot. So, yeah. It's nice. Anyways, again. Miss Ba getting sidetracked. Miss Ba getting sidetracked. This one's called blue. And, yes, it is the exact color that it's showing. I'm happy about that. It's like a, yeah, cornflower blue kind of. Like a dark cornflower blue. I like it. I like it. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to show you every single color. No one wants to see this all. But emerald. Oh, I like that. It's pretty. I think it's a little light for emerald, but it's still very, very pretty. I like it. And then I got a white and a cream. Oh, and this gorgeous red. Everybody know Bagel Day loves a good red. Especially a good blood red. That's beautiful. That's my favorite. I love that one. I love it. Why didn't I get more? burgundy that is not burgundy that is a blood red it is, looks just like it does on camera tell me that's not burgundy that's not burgundy is it i mean not about that that looks like burgundy to me but i guess everybody i mentioned this everybody sees color differently to me that is straight up blood red dark red but some people could see it as burgundy and that would not there would be nothing wrong with that I always say, if there's one thing I learned on YouTube, everybody sees color differently. And they see weights of yarn differently. That's why I always hold it up and show you. Very pretty purple. Hmm. I don't know what color of purple you call this. Lilac, maybe? What do they call it? Uh, mauve. Dark mauve. Um, I wouldn't consider really maybe mauve, dark mauve. I don't know. I'm more of a, like, I think that would be like... Lilac, like a d dark lilac. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm doing showing you that. Anyways, um, you know, then I got the classic cream and white, and they had that, and black. They had black, and um, oh, they had this really pretty pink. I like this one. Mm-hmm. This one feels a lot softer. It depends on the dye, I think. You know, kind of like Red Heart Super Saver. I like that. That's pretty. I love yarn so much. And I act like such a weirdo. This one's just called Rose. Like my daughter. Oh, I love that. It's beautiful. Um, oh, we got a dark purple. Nice. It's, uh, yeah, dark purple. That's what they call it. Dark purple. That's a good name. 
That's what I would have called it. <laughs> and then other than like the cream and the black and the white, this was, they have this, this blue as well. Did I already show you this? I did. I already showed you this. Did I? I don't know. It's royal blue. No, I showed you the cornflower color blue, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. This one's like a royal. And that's what they call it too. So yeah, I'm going with that. Nice. I like this. I just beat myself in the butt that I did not get more of it for that cheap price. Because it's, I mean, it's worth it. Um, okay, let me show you one more yarn. Now this is actually a new yarn that I got at the time of buying this stuff. It was not on sale and it was new. And I'm doing a, a review on it right now. At the, right now it's uh, 411. Expect my next video after this will be the review for this yarn because I have it in the washer right now. Because I do the wash and dry test and then I do it on my knitting machine, you know, and I crochet with it and I, then I give you tell you all about it. You know, I run, well, I don't really like to review yarns anymore on my channel, but when a new yarn comes out, I have to. I said I wasn't going to, but man, I have to. It's in my blood to review new yarns. I have to. So I got this one. Like I said, uh, this is new from Yarn, from Yarn Inspirations. I'm not, I have a piece of it and ended up right now. I'm not going to show it to you. Oh, you've seen it. I'm not going to show it to you, but you'll be able to see it in the review. Like I said, there's a piece down there. It's actually in the dryer right now. So when I'm done with this video, I'll look for the review to this one next. It's called Karen Kalorama Bamboo Blend. Now, um... Like I said, this is new. It wasn't on sale. I had to pay full sinking price for it. And it, it was not cheap. <clears throat> it was $13.49 a cake at Yarn Inspirations. I think that's the only place at the making of this video where it's at. But I'm certain eventually it'll hit Joann's and be a lot cheaper. Because when you go direct to the source like that, it's usually not that cheap. Um, since it's not a Caron cake... Um, per se, it's their part of their Colorama uh, Halo line. It won't go directly to Michaels. Only Karen Cakes go directly to Michaels first. The Halo, um, I noticed Joanne's got it last time. So, who knows? Who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm not going to really give away too much information on this right now. You have to watch my review. But it is new. And it was thirteen forty nine. That's what it is full price at Yarn Inspirations. Um, and I'll tell you the fiber content. It's sixty acrylic, twenty nylon, and twenty viscose from bamboo. Three hundred ninety six yards or three hundred sixty three meters. It is an eight ounce ball. And it says that you can um, wash it and dry it. So as per instructions, that is what's going on right now. So I'm gonna get off here. Oh. I got this pretty purple one, and then I got another one that's, but it's variegated. I don't want to show you that one until the next video, because it's worked up. Um, and then I got this yellow here, which is called wheat. Nothing about that resembles wheat to me, but hey, what? Whatever they say, it's wheat. And I kind of thought that, that their yellow was magic, because they had a variegated, and then they had a solid, and I kind of thought they would match up. Now, it isn't an exact match. I don't know why I'm ruining my review. I'm ruining my review. But it is close enough that I think I'll show you in the, in the next video. But here's our variegated um, one that I got to go with the yellow. It's called Sunshine. So, yeah. How's it feel? You know, don't feel too bad. How's it perform? Now, that's is a story yet to be told. I know how it performs. Make sure you catch my video that's coming up after this one, okay? And then you'll know how it performs because I'm going to show you on video and tell you if I think it's worth $13.49. Mm. It's soft. It is pretty colors in that one, isn't it? I like that. It's very summery. I think that's very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. All right. Well, 
that's all I got from the observations during their clearance haul. I have other yarns to show you, but for the purpose of not making my video so long, I'll show you those on another day. Look for some of this stuff at my, uh, actually, when I do my, uh, million subscribers, you guys can shut me off now. Please do, if, if I annoy you. I do, wait, before you go, though, I, now, this hat here, I have a tutorial for this hat, but it's not, it's almost identical, except for the brim is different, okay? The brim on the hat that I have a tutorial for is his straight double crochet. These are actually post stitches. But everything else about it is the same, and it's called the Garden Lodge Beanie. You can find that on my channel. All right, now, if you don't want to hear me talk about other stuff, I mean, it's yarn-related, but other stuff other than, like, I don't have no more yarn that I'm going to show you in this video. Um, you can you can leave. It doesn't. It's okay. Um, but anyways, during my uh, mill subscribe, subscriber live stream, remember, I had to give away for people that couldn't make it. I, I did that extra because... I felt bad that not everybody could make it, so I had I came up with more prizes and stuff, and, and I had that. And so on the twentieth, um, some of this yarn will be in it, but I don't know if I'll make up mystery boxes and do it that way, or it's not all going to be yarn though. You know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna have other stuff. But like I said, I don't have tons to give away, but probably enough. I just want. To, to do something because I said I would and I'll open my go play button on that day because you guys helped me for that if I cry I'm sorry because it's always very nice to meet a goal that you tried for for so long I'll tell you I set a lot of goals in my life and this one took me longer than any of them <laughs> um, but I know I didn't quit so I hope to see you there um, on my live stream on the 20th and for this video that's all I have but maybe after this video you'll be able to watch the uh, review of the new yarn here which I am going to stop this video put it on YouTube and then I finish out the review for this and then I'll put that up upload that next um, I also actually like I said I have other yarns to show you other cool things Yarn related, of course. I'm super excited to show you on that. And blankets for the auction. And I'm just trying to get stuff organized for the million subscriber thing and jig. After that, Bob goes back to being bod, talking yarn, um, like I like to do, and doing tutorials and stuff um, until. I'm no longer on YouTube. I don't know when that'll be, but I'll, I'll let you know before that day happens, okay? Like I said, I have no more goals set for YouTube. I was going to think about doing a book, but uh, I don't want to do that anymore. I have yarn coming out, my own yarn line. It's just I can't get it the way that I want it, so I've sent it back three times, but that was another goal that I have, so um, you'll see that sometime this year, I'm certain. Um, but yeah. I don't think I'm going to set any more goals for YouTube. I think I'm just going to be with you here, talk to you guys, and do tutorials for as long as I can do them for. And then, you know, Dagone will know when her time is up. Trust me. Um, I'm not one to sit around and eke it out, you know. I just, what's the saying? There's a good saying on that. It goes with that. Um, mm. I'd rather just burn, just burn out in an instant. Yeah. Then slowly fade away. So you can expect that from me. I'm not going to just slowly fade away in, into the abyss on YouTube. When I notice that I'm not doing any well. Like I'm when I notice that, you know, other people have, you know, like, no, I'm not, you know, when I notice that people aren't liking ba Bag of Day anymore for some reason or another, I'm not going to, like, just hang on like a thread and slowly just fade out into the distance. I'll be gone and you won't see me anymore. But, uh, I don't see that happening. Hopefully. Not anytime soon, but it will happen. No one's time on YouTube is forever. That is something I've learned. Although there have been people on YouTube 
in our genre for a very long time. But then again, like I said, I'm not going to slowly fade away. I'm not that type of person. I'll go out with a bang while, I'm st while people are still watching me. I'll see you guys in my next video, okay? Bye, guys.